Hi everyone, I'm Chang Wen with Notebooks.com and in this video we're going to go ahead and explore different ways to get additional multimedia content onto your Samsung Droid Charge on Verizon Wireless's 4G LTE network. The benefit of this device, like the HTC Thunderbolt currently available on Verizon Wireless, is that it benefits from 4G LTE download speeds. Verizon Wireless advertises the speeds of between 6 to 12 megabits per second on the download side, although in actual use, speeds can uh, be a lot higher than that and I've experienced speeds up to 20 megabits per second in San Francisco, California, which is a 4G market. Unlike on the iOS platform where Apple has integrated an iTunes experience into the iPod touch the iPad and also the iPhone where users can download content such as ebooks, movies, music and uh, TV shows and other content onto their devices. There isn't an official first party uh, application or service right now from Google to download those content. Android Market on the Google tablet does integrate ebooks into that service but on the Android Market for Android smartphones that isn't yet available right now. There are different ways and carriers and manufacturers like Samsung and Verizon Wireless have pre-bundled other third-party services to fill the void that a lack of an iTunes-like Google service is um, creating for the Android platform. Some of those apps and services include the Amazon Kindle, which comes preloaded on the Droid Charge that will allow users to download eBooks using their Amazon account. The Kindle store offers a la carte book purchases and users can also download uh, book samples onto their device. Books are stored on the Amazon server so users can download the books that they want to read and de delete that from their device once they're finished and they can re-download the books at any time in the uh, future with their Amazon account and Amazon password. Books download pretty fast on the Verizon Wireless 4G wireless network. Other than books, if users want to download video content or to rent videos, there's a service called the Blockbuster service, which has an app on itself. Right now, the service isn't yet live for the Droid Charge and should come live once the device launches. Right now, there is an update to get through Android Market, which is, a, which is not yet available since the device is not yet uh, available in the US for sale. So once that becomes available, the uh, Amazon, the Android market, I'm sorry, uh, Blockbuster app will be available through the market for update and then users can do a la carte rentals and purchases rather than going through a subscription like service. Another application that does that would be the Samsung Media Hub, which will allow users to preview, purchase, rent uh, TV shows and movies. So right now we're looking at some of the newest items that are available on the Samsung Media Hub. The downside to this is that it's locked down by DRM, which means that although you can play the content that you purchased on your Samsung device, like the Samsung Droid Charge, you can't port that content over to a new Android device that's not made by Samsung. So for instance, if you purchase content through the Droid Charge, if you decide to upgrade in the future or to switch a device to say an HTC Thunderbolt on Verizon Wireless's 4G network, you won't be able to take these purchases that you've made onto the new device unless it's a Samsung device. Movies can be played out to, say, a Samsung HD TV via DLNA or through the HDMI connector port here, which is located underneath this uh, flap. When you're in the movie store, uh, TV shows unfortunately don't have previews, but if you're in the, med uh, the movie store, there are previews. Uh, let's go ahead and take a preview of The Dark Knight. You can either purchase it directly, rent it, or you can watch a preview. Previews are watchable on the 4G network and doesn't take long to buffer to begin playing. So there's a quick couple seconds period of buffering and then now the video is playing. As you can see here with the Super AMOLED Plus 4.3 inch display, blacks are very deep and rich. And right now it's in a, a widescreen format, but if you want you can go ahead and take it to 
Actually, you can't take it to full screen. So that's a preview of The Dark Knight using 4G and also watching it on the Super AMOLED Plus display. Another way to access content is through Verizon Wireless's Vcast Media application where the application serves as sort of a digital locker-like service. The service comes with half a gig of memory and users can also purchase additional memory options and upgrade their storage in the future through their wireless rate plan. With Vcast Manager, users can offload some of the content such as the music, pictures, or videos from their device. The device does come preloaded with a 32 gigabyte micro SDHC card um, in the back under the back battery cover. But if you want to free up some of that space, you can go ahead and upload those contents such as music, pictures, videos, and documents onto the Vcast Media Manager service so that it would be stored on the cloud rather than local on your device. Here I have just one picture stored and you can see it does pull it down rather quickly on the 4G network. So this was a shot that was taken with the 8 megapixel rear-facing uh, camera on the Samsung Droid Charge. If you want to upload a picture all you would have to do is go to the main screen here and you can go upload and play media and then we're going to go ahead and choose pictures and it will take you to the picture album or gallery. Let's go ahead and upload this shot that I've taken. In order to upload, what you would have to do is hit the menu key, which pulls up some options here. Let's choose Upload, and it's connecting at the top notification bar, and it shows that it's uploading right now. If you pull down the notification bar, it will show you the progress of the upload. It is an 8 megapixel uh, picture file, so it is quite a large file, so it does take a little bit of time to upload even on 4G speeds. Now that the upload is completed, it shows it that it has been uploaded. Let's go back to the main page. So this is the main Vcast Media Manager page. Click on Pictures. Now it's refreshed and it shows two pictures. It shows the first picture that we've uploaded and also the second picture um, that was there before that we had opened up earlier. So these are some of the ways to get some uh, digital content onto your device. Another application here is the Verizon Wireless Apps, which ties in with the Vcast Apps application and is sort of a curated Verizon Wireless App Store. So this is an app store that sort of rivals Android Market and provides a more limited and curated experience of the app selection that may be available. So users can download apps that are made for Verizon Wireless or with the approval of Verizon Wireless on this device through the Vcast Apps application. Users can also download additional apps through Android Market and there are additional um, apps where you can find videos and other multimedia content as well there. Another app that comes with the device is YouTube if you want uh, video applications that way. You can go to the YouTube application and find user generated videos um, as well for free. What I recommend users download here are a couple of apps including the Nook app which is made by Barnes & Noble which rivals the Amazon Kindle app for ebooks. There's also Amazon's Android, uh, Amazon App Store for Android which rivals the Android market and it provides another app experience where users can discover and purchase apps. Amazon features a free uh, per day uh, paid app so users can 
experience and explore different apps that they normally may not otherwise try. At the top here, there are different categories for different apps, and on the home screen, it shows you the top paid and the top free app. If you want to download an app, let's go ahead and download this free app for today. It will take you to a download screen, and then the app will install after it finishes downloading. These apps are encrypted with Amazon's DRM, so you can go ahead and re-download the apps after you've purchased it, or if you switch devices, all you would need to do is sign in again with your Amazon account name and password. Another way to get music is through the Amazon MP3 store, which gives users um, an option to download uh, music, such as those found on iTunes. Like the Amazon App Store for Android, this one features either um, a 69 cent song, which is a popular song that's on the top charts today, uh, low cost uh, MP3 album deals, and also sometimes it features a free MP3 of the day, like the uh, Amazon App Store for Android. The cool thing about this is that your music is now stored on the cloud through Amazon Cloud and then there's Amazon Cloud Player which allows you to play the music straight from the cloud. These are some of the songs that were free or were 99 cent albums that I've tried to purchase and if you click here let's go ahead and go through 101 Strings Orchestra still loading on the 4G network And let's go ahead and go through the blue. And we're going to go ahead and stream this. This isn't being downloaded. It's actually being streamed from the 4G network. So as you can see, it's buffering really quickly. And it does play when the screen is off as well. So if you want to just play Amazon Cloud Player with the screen off to save battery life, you can. And the music is being pumped out of the rear speaker. I do have a case on right now. So these are some of the ways to get additional content onto your Samsung Droid Charge for Verizon Wireless. I'm Chung Wen for Notebooks.com. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for additional content on the Droid Charge and other popular smartphones.